Whoops, just stood on something there. Haha. <laughs> Let's see what we've got to do with these demos. Let's see if we can make this look good, what we've got. Oh. Making these mechanical noises again, folks. Hey! <coughs> oh, far out. Sorry. <laughs> you get that. We're just going to look at that later. We'll see what we're going to do with this. I don't know what it is exactly. We're just taking it, doing it intuitively through these settings. So we're going to make this look nice. We're actually going to take out negative positive. We're not doing that. I've forgotten what we were actually going to do. So we're just going to make it a positive image. Sound like someone else just sneezed in this unit block. <laughs> All right, I'm wondering what this thing is we're doing. I've forgotten what it is that we had bookmarked. We got here a Woolworths Fresh Easter. Of course, it's Easter at this time of the year. And we're photocopying something different. We're photocopying this always refreshing Taste the Crunch to do with apples, I think. Jazz apple. So I'm going to make a photocopy of that and make it look interesting. Now we're just going to lift the dock feeder. Sorry, I should have put the dock feeder open like I normally would. So I'm thinking we're going to have it, we're not going to enlarge it, definitely not. So we're going to try and make this look really interesting. Maybe you could say jazzy. <laughs> See how we go with this jazz apple commercial. So yeah, it's an interesting one. I normally take photocopies of actual pictures but sometimes a commercial can look good in some occasions so let's see if this makes a really good master copy to make a complete work of art so let's see how the jazz apple came out whoa that looks interesting there's some of the other I like that edge there that looks really interesting I'm thinking we could I don't like the text but I do like the edge of the book um, and that looks nice. So I'm thinking that's going to be the centre of the job. So we're just going to probably consign this to a waiting room book or magazine rather. Because people love to read things in the waiting room. There's nothing better to do when you're waiting to see a doctor or something. And I would like to give these away to people and make them happy, I hope hope to <laughs> so now we're just gonna try and see if there's anything that needs uh, alteration um, improvement we're just gonna leave it All right, out it comes. That's not bad, that actually looks quite nice. It looks a bit wishy-washy, but at the same time, we don't want it too heavy that we end up making it too, yeah. Well, I'm saying we're gonna make that the center of the job. So, wondering if we're gonna go in here and maybe make it a bit heavier, because it is a bit wishy-washy. But I think we're gonna leave it, I've just decided. Jazz apple. Let's see how this looks. It's a funny name, but anyway, it's, I guess it's quite a, a cool sounding name, I guess. Jazz, like the music. Um, jazz, jazzercise. Okay. Oh, it's really jazzy, <laughs> whatever. 
funny names people adver- advertisers give to their products to make it sound like people want to give people the desire to buy the product. <laughs> Sometimes a name can actually put you off a product in some circumstances. So, well, that though well, I found that true of myself. Sometimes it's, it's just too close to home. Sometimes when certain types of names given to certain products anyway won't go into it we're just gonna arrange this as a mirror image gonna jazz it up we've jazzed it up you could say so there you go that's really funny in my opinion we've jazzed up this commercial we've made it look even more colorful even more interesting in my opinion uh you guys watching YouTube and whatever, you be the judge of that. Uh, but yeah, I think that looks good. I think now we can call this jazzy demo quits.